into my heart and air that kills into my heart and air that kills from yon far country blows what are those blue remembered hills what spires what farms are those that is the land of the lost content i see it shining plain the happy highways where i went and come cannot come again a. E. Hausman, an angel that presided o'er my birth. The angel that presided o'er my birth said, Little creature formed of joy and mirth, go love without the help of anything on earth. William Blake. Wild nights. Wild nights, were I with thee, wild nights should be our luxury. Feudal the winds to a heart and a port, down with the compass, down with the jut, rowing and eating, ah, the sea, might I but more, to night in thee. Night. To his coy mistress, had we but world enough in time, this coy miss lady were no crime. We would sit down and think which way to walk, pass our long love's day. Thou, by the Indian games we sigh, shouldst rubies find. I, by the tide of umber, would complain. I would love you ten years before the flood. And you should, if you please, refuse, till the conversation needs a shoes. My vegetable love should grow, vaster than empires and more slow. In hundred years should go to praise thine eyes and on thy forehead gaze. Two hundred to adore each breast, but thirty thousand to the rest. An age at least to every part, and the last age should show your heart. For, lady, you deserve the state, nor would I love at lower rate. But at my back I always hear. Time's winged chariot hurrying near, and yonder all before us lie deserts of vast eternity. Thy beauty shall no more be bound, nor in thy marble vault shall sound my echoing song. Then worms shall try that long preserved virginity, and your coin honor turn to dust, and into ashes all my lust. The grave's a fine and private place, but none, I think, do there embrace. Now therefore, while the youthful hue sits on thy skin like morning dew, and while thy willing soul transpires at every pore with instant fires, now let us sport us while we may, and now, like amorous birds of prey, rather at once our time devour. And languish in this slow chapped power. Let us roll all our strength and all our sweetness up into one ball and tear our pleasures with rough strife through the iron gates of life. Thus, thou, we cannot make our sun stand still, yet we will make him run. And you know that. Love and life. All my past life is mine no more. The flying hours are gone. My transitory dreams given o'er. These images are kept in store. My memory alone. Whatever is to come is not. How can it be then be mine? The present moment. All my lot. And that. As fast as it's gone. Fill us its holy thine. Then talk not of inconstancy, false hearts, and broken vows. If I by miracle can be this lifelong minute true to thee, tis all that heaven allows. John Wilmot, Earl of Rochester. Meeting at night. The gray sea and the long black land and the yellow half moon large and low. And the startled little waves that leap, fiery ringlets, from their sleep. 
as I gain the cove with the push and plow and quench its speed to the slushy sand. There a mile of warm sea-scented beach, three fields to cross till a farm appears, a tap at the pane, the quick sharp scratch, and the blue spurt of a lighted match, and a voice less loud through its joys and fears than the two hearts beating each to each. Parting at morning, beyond the cape of a sudden came the sea, and the sun looked over the mountain's rim, and straight was a path of gold for him, and the need of a world of men for me. Her wishes for the cloths of heaven. Had I the heavens embroidered cloths, and wrought with golden and silver light, the blue and the dim and the dark clothes of night and light and the half light? I would spread the cloths under your feet, but I, being poor, have only my dreams. I have spread my dreams under your feet. Tread softly because you tread on my dreams. She tells her love while half asleep. She tells her love while half asleep, and the dark hours with half words whispered low as earth stirs in her winter sleep. He puts out grass and flowers despite the snow, despite the falling snow. Robert Graves. Victoria Market. I said to my companion, this is walking. I said to my companion how my heart goes out to all lovers. The darkness was still warm, but the fields were fresh and beautiful in the winter rain. The market was full of little lights, and I was on the ear of a sack, sleeping on top of a tie like a cat on the curbstone. I said to my friend, stop falling on your knees. I have to keep pulling your arm to your feet again. Then the dawn came down silent up between the rows of vegetables, and we passed out in the winter star, rejoicing companionless in our love. As I crossed the square on my way home, the high spires were ablaze with the movement of feet. Francis Barbazin. Reflection on ice skating. Candy is dandy, but liquor is quicker. Celia, Celia. When I am sad and weary, when I think all hope is gone, when I walk along high hall bone, I think of you with nothing on. Adrian Mitchell. When a man has married a wife, when a man has married a wife, he finds out whether her knees and elbows are only glued together. William Blake. What ails thee? What ails thee then, woman? What ails thee? Doesn't terror know? If thou cannot say it, come then and straighten it out in my bosom. Uh, man doesn't have bosom. I've been not only that knows what I mean. Come then. Can straighten out on my sure front and that it feel better in the first place I don't stray and if I did I certainly couldn't straighten out and if I could the last place I should choose would be your sure front or your manly bosom even so leave off trying to put the Robbie Burns touch over me and kindly hand me the cigarettes if you haven't smoked them off which you're much more likely to do and to shelter anybody from your coal all blast. Dear A slice of wedding cake. Why has such scores of lovely gifted girls married impossible men? Simply self-sacrifice may be rolled out in missionary endeavor mine times out of ten. 
repeat impossible men, not merely rustic full. Of life. Of life. Of life. The wishes of an elderly man. I wish I loved the human race. I wish I loved its silly face. I wish I liked the way it walks. I wish I liked the way it talks. And when I'm introduced to one, I wish I thought what jolly fun. Walter Raleigh. Life was fine. I went down to the river. I sat down on the bank. I tried to think, but couldn't. So I jumped in and sank. I came up once and hollered. They came up twice and cried. If that water hadn't been so cold, I might have sunk and died. But it was cold in that water. It was cold. I took, I took the elevator 16 floors above the ground. I thought about my baby and thought, I would jump down. I stood there and I hollered. I stood there and I cried. If it hadn't been so high, I might have jumped and died. But it was high up there. It was high. So since I'm still so here living, I guess I will live on. I could have died for love, but for living, I was born. Though you may hear me holler, you may see me cry. I'll be dogged, sweet baby, if you're going to see me die. Life is fine, fine is fine, life is fine. Rest in peace. Bad woman. Oh, the gladness of a woman when she's glad. And oh, the sadness of a woman when she's sad. But the gladness of her gladness and the sadness of her sadness. And nothing to the badness when she's bad. I'm on. Oh dear, how disgusting a life. Oh dear, how disgusting is life. I think I'll read one more before I go. Maybe two. Riches. When I wish I was rich, when I know I am ill because to tell the truth, I have enough as I am. So when I catch myself thinking, ah, if I was rich, I say to myself, hello, I'm not well. My vitality is low. Oh dear, how disgusting is life. Oh dear, how disgusting is life. To improve it, oh, what can we do? Most disgusting is hustle and strife. And of all things, an ill-fitting shoe. Shoe, oh, bother. An ill-fitting shoe. Edward Wood. Heredity. Heredity. I'm in the family face. Flesh perishes. I live on. Projecting trait and trace. Through time to times and on. And leaping from place to place. Over oblivion. The years aired feature. That can in curve and voice and eye. Despise the human span of durance. That is I. The eternal thing in man that heeds no call to die. Thomas Hardy.